Hi friends! I am excited you're here today because I have a delicious recipe I'll be showing you today how to make. It's called meaty taco dip and I literally could eat this every single day and that's no joke, it's that good. So welcome, welcome to another episode of Debbie's Healthy Kitchen. I'm Debbie Cuevas and I'm a certified health coach and I help people just like you make major improvements in their health and wellness. And so part of what I do is sharing healthy recipes with all of you and I love it. It's fun and uh, I enjoy cooking and I enjoy eating so it might as well be healthy. And so um, to get started, I'm gonna cover all the ingredients with you and then I'll show you how to put this all together. Um, and I will be posting the complete recipe in the comments below when I'm done so you will have it. So feel free to uh, share this uh, video to your page so you'll have the recipe. Um, or you can um, always send me a message. I would be happy to send it to you as well. So what you're gonna need for this recipe is some shredded chicken breast. You'll need some low sodium taco seasoning, some salsa, and you can use any kind of salsa, whatever your favorite kind is. You'll want some light sour cream, some, not sour cream, you will need some 0% uh, Greek yogurt. And I like to use this brand here, the Fahey brand. And then you will need some light cream cheese, as well as all of the toppings which is lettuce, chopped tomato, some low fat shredded cheese, uh, some diced avocado, some chopped green onions, and what else? I think that is it. And so let's go ahead and get cooking. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you my bowl here. <laughs> and so I'm just going to start adding ingredients. So we're gonna start with that Greek yogurt and I'll just put that in my bowl. One of the things I did do ahead of time was I did um, make uh, chicken yesterday for another recipe and I always like to cook up a couple extra chicken breasts and shred it so I'll have that in the fridge on hand so when I'm making things for the week. I've already thought about what I am um, having and so it's all ready to go. So my chicken is all ready. All right, so we got our Greek yogurt and now we're gonna put in that light cream cheese. And then I have that low sodium taco seasoning. We're just going to put that in. And I'm gonna go ahead and just mix this. And so you want that taco seasoning all blended. Now you can use the store-bought, but just make sure it's like a low sodium. I do like to make my own as well because I can control what spices are in there and there's no added ingredients. I just didn't happen to have any today, so um, I did have some store-bought on hand. So we're just gonna mix this in until it's like all creamy, as you can see. And so you do want to use softened cream cheese. And if you forget to take out your cream cheese, I did learn a little hack that uh, you can take that cream cheese, set it on a plate, and then take a cup of water and microwave it for like two minutes. Then dump the water out and put that bowl that you had your water in over the top of that cream cheese. So it would just be over the top like that. And about 10 minutes, that cream cheese will be softened. And so I actually did that today. Uh, I was running a little behind and so it worked perfectly. All right, so as you can see, that uh, Greek yogurt, the light cream cheese and the taco seasoning is all mixed together nice and creamy. So we're gonna to continue to add our next ingredients. 
So I'm going to take that shredded chicken and just go ahead and dump in. I'm gonna mix that around. Now this recipe does make 12 servings, which is great for like sharing, like at potlucks, summer barbecues, family get-togethers, or if you have a large family or you wanna have um, extras for leftovers. Um, I did cut this recipe in half because it is just my husband and I, and so it's still gonna make six servings, and uh, that will be plenty for us to have uh, for the next few days. All right, so I have the chicken all blended, and now I'm going to take that salsa and put in, and like I said, it can be any flavor or any type of salsa. I do prefer the ones that are more, um, Oh, tomato base versus like a pico de gallo, only because we want it to still be somewhat creamy. <laughs> All right, and so we're just going to add in that salsa and mix that around. <clears throat> And this has such great flavor, so good. All right, just about done with this part. And like I said, it's just gonna look about the same. It's just creamy, um, but it has all of those yummy ingredients in it. All right, so now I'm going to take a small, um, like a casserole dish. Um, I normally would use like 11 by 17 if I was going to do all 12. This is a little bit of a smaller, um, but you could also use a pie plate. I know my, my internet's keeping on going in and out, so I apologize. And so, I'm not, my internet is crazy now. Is it okay? Just bake. Smooth. Bottom layer. Up. So I'm just gonna take some lettuce and just sprinkle over the top. And I'm going to chop jalapenos after a little shred chopped up. This is all we have the and so use six sliced uh, mini peppers and so for you today I am celery sticks and the mini taste to sit in the fill those flavors right now <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. i love it so much <laughs> mm. so tasty mm. Mm -hmm. so this is called the meaty taco dip and i do apologize my internet kept going in and out I don't know if you caught the recipe or not, so hopefully it will all come together. But like I said, I will be posting the complete recipe in the comments below, and so you will have it. So I hope you enjoy this recipe, and uh, I would love to know if this is something that you would make for your family. And if you do make it, I would love to hear your feedback as well. So um, also give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this and um, we'll chat with you another time and every week i post another healthy recipe uh, where i show you how to make it but i do post a recipe each and every day so you can enjoy those as well so again thanks for watching debbie's healthy kitchen and until let's next time let's go eat all right bye bye